What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Swamp Cabbage Brewing Company right here in Columbia, South Carolina. This is Rubrum Red IPA. Once you get a good look at the uh, the red tree there on the label art. And that tree comes up in the other uh, notes here on the bottle. A staple in landscapes throughout the South is the Acer Rubrum. Known as the Swamp or Red Maple, it is the inspiration for Swamp Cabbage Brewing's latest IPA we call Rubrum Red IPA. A blend of Centennial and Chinook hops provide the bitterness, while a heavy dose of Cascade lends a floral aroma. If you're an IPA fan, you'll really like this one. 5.9% ABV, 44 IBU. Okay, so. A nice orange pushing into a bit of a bronze color. Uh, maybe a, what, a finger's worth of head maybe. Uh, generally pretty, pretty fine bubbles, though there are a, a, a number of bigger ones on the surface here. Uh, pretty well see-through. Just a slight bit of haze to it. Might, might be chill haze. There was a room temperature glass, so shouldn't be too much. But uh, the stuff on the other side, looking through the beer, is not 100% uh, clear. Uh, holding up to the light, it's a pretty solid orange color with maybe some uh, goldish, yellow gold, orange gold highlights. Okay, let's uh, check it out. Hmm. Got a bit of that floral aroma as I was holding up to my nose, so uh, definitely getting that part of it. Mm. So the first thing I was looking for when I saw red IPA uh, was balance. Uh, when I see a red IPA or something like that, I kind of, uh, whether... Whether correct or not is I kind of look for a combination of red ale and IPA. Uh, so I'm expecting something fairly malty and maybe even a little bit of like a caramel sweetness from the red ale side. And then of course the, the various potential hoppy notes coming from the, uh, the IPA side. And I think this actually nails a pretty good, uh, a pretty good balance between the two. There is a, a very good amount of bitterness to it, but it's not overpowering in any way. Dare I say it's even maybe uh, the palate wrecking potential is maybe cut by the malty side of the beer. Uh, no sweetness to it at all. Uh, maybe getting just a little bit of the floral coming out of some of those hops. Maybe a little bit of pininess as well. Yeah, definitely piney going into a little bit of a, um, like sort of dank notes as well. They're kind of the two, the two ideas at the forefront of the, of the IPA side of this beer. It's, I'm not crazy about the flavor overall, to be frank. There are definitely some really good things going on with this beer, but kind of the, the bottom line, I'm not quite sold on yet. And it's worth noting that the bitterness is ramping up considerably as I've only drank, what, four ounces of that, maybe three ounces. Um, several sips, the bitterness is ramping up considerably already. So you might have to throw out all that stuff I said initially about the uh, the palate wrecking, <laughs> the palate wrecking side getting cut down. There's a there's a good amount of hop bitterness here uh, as you proceed through the beer. I think I could actually use something like a some kind of malty sweetness to it. The malts are present, and I think they play a role in the. The mouth feel a little bit too in the body, but 
there's like a, a real fine prickliness to the to the mouth feel. Um, so the, the the red the red ale side of it, at least again, that's kind of how I choose to interpret these kind of things. It, but it's just not quite. I'd like more out of that side, and maybe that's just me. Uh, I I've said many times I tend to be someone who enjoys the the multi side of the spectrum much more than the hoppy side. I've certainly enjoyed my share of IPAs, uh, but um, the hop bombs are I'm not all the way there yet, to be frank. And this is kind of getting to that point. There's probably a certain type of beer drinker that's really going to enjoy this uh, this beer. Unfortunately, it's not me, but I can certainly see the potential. I I like the uh, the, the balance, especially initially, and even though the, the bitterness is coming a bit becoming a bit overwhelming, um, I can certainly see that bitter uh, that that balance rather uh, still shining through in this beer. So. Um, not a bad attempt from Swamp Cabbage. Sad to say, not quite my thing. But that is the Rubrum Red IPA. I wanted to get that right. From Swamp Cabbage Brewing Company. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.